It's your boy NKG Line. Doing a cook up in machine today. We're gonna do an IDM cook up. You know, hello to everyone. I know it's nighttime in the West, right here in China. It's um, 12 noon, so it's midnight where y'all at, I guess, if you're watching it from America or Canada. Uh, I'm gonna do an IDM jam. For those who follow me on Instagram, y'all probably seen like me demo a lot of my IDM jams, but I've been making some more, so you know that's good for us. It's good for all of us. You feel me? More IDM for the world. Uh, and yeah, I just I, for real, for real, I just got up like an hour or two ago and made myself some cheese eggs, and you know with some bread. My wife is gone. She went to Nanjing for the national holiday, so I just figured. I would have more time to stream and do things without a baby yelling in the background or some loud show with dramatic stuff happening in the background. So we're going to do this IDM jam. Uh, I want to I arrange it. Maybe we can arrange it today, but I want to show you the loops and what instruments I'm using right now. Let's start with the first one, uh, Recycled Strings. I got that. I think that's the Lo-Fi Glow Pack. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. So that's the Lo-Fi Glow Pack from um, Native Instruments, if you know. I like using the Lo-Fi Glow Pack for uh, IDM. It's a lot funner. There's a lot of IDM types. It's modular icons. It's great. Uh, cloud Supply is great sometimes. Analog Dreams, Ethereal Earth. like All of them are super good. So let's start with some sounds. Stop rapping. And you see I got some chords right down. Really simple. I did that in the Ableton chords function on the MK3. I'm not showing the MK3 right now because I don't have that many cameras. But I got another camera on the way, so I might do a multi-camera setup for you guys in the future. But for now, you just gotta trust me. I like this chord progression because it's like super mellow. It could be IDM, it could be on beat, it could be even lo-fi hip-hop, whatever you, you choose. Uh, it's just super singable, rapidly. And then I added some like textures that I got from PML, like some kind of like I mixed up some textures, so it's like organic textures. I like that. As you can see from the title up here, it's called Saharan Beans. So we'll just jam out real quick. Like this groove alone is just super relaxing. Kind of reminds me of like Teams stuff if you know about Teams. Uh, another brain feeder artist. Like, it's pretty cool. And then next I dropped a bass in. Uh, I took a bass from this idea also. I really like this track. I feel like if I can find a way to arrange it properly, this could be like a single for my idea, my next idea album.
feel like this song can, you can stretch it out. And I'll, the reason I also put a lot of like counter melodies is because eventually in the arrangement I do want to take out the pads. It's something that I usually do with my arrangement. So let's say you just take out the pads. Sometimes when the pads are in there, it just feels like the pads can sometimes overtake the melodies that I've come up with, and I just sometimes I just don't like that. So I, I need some solo time for each part. The, that's the that's the basics of the song now I have to arrange it now anyone who knows me knows like with arrangement I always have like I wouldn't say anxiety but um, 
All right, if anyone follows Bolo, the producer, he just put out a video that was talking about there's three types of people in the music industry. There's pessimists, real, realists, and idealists. And, like, basically every every one of them has a function, but, you know, the best is being a realist because you get stuff done. And I find myself being an idealist, especially when it comes to the arrangement, and that's what's kind of held me back in making music and stuff because I always feel like I can make everything, but when it comes to arranging things, uh, I, I think my standards were just way too high for where I'm currently at. You know, I always want to put like drops and, you know, switch ups and make it super special, but sometimes people are just listening to the music for the vibe. They don't want all the, like, the extra stuff. So I'm working on just finishing a lot of the tracks that I started because I have a lot of good tracks that I've like just kind of left on the burner because I had insecurities about my arrangements. And to be honest, like people aren't even listening that hard to the track like to be like, oh, he ain't put a drop right there. The song is some trash because he ain't put a drop over there. Like or he ain't put like no SFX and. I think over time I'll get better with it, especially since like YouTube exists and uh, like music courses and stuff like that exists. But like for now, I'm going to try to just focus on getting tracks done. And if y'all mess with the sound quality, especially since I spend a lot of time on sound design, if y'all mess with the sound quality, then y'all going to mess with everything else. So, um, With this song, I'm thinking about putting vocals, um, NDN, the other artist that I work with out here in China, he was talking about that I should put vocals on my stuff. And he always puts vocals on his stuff because, you know, he, like, he has his little condenser mic and he really always, like, puts a vibe on there. Like, when we're at his spot, like, people go up there, rap, sing, whatever. I haven't done it at his spot just because I have my own things I have to get over when it comes to my vocals, but... I got some, I got, I got a slight amount of pipes from it. I can, I can kind of sing, just, you feel me? I need some practice. But that also goes with the idealist thing that I, I was talking about that, you know, was in Bolo's video. So, who knows? I might put some vocals on this. I just need to write some lyrics. Um, so, now that you guys have heard the loop, and I've been rapping for a second, I think that uh, I'm going to try to arrange the track. You know, so that way we can get this done, you know. Uh, right now you see a scene one. Normally what I do is I append tracks. So if you look at machine, for anyone who hasn't ever looked at machine, you have these like numbers here and then you have this plus and minus signs, whatever. You can insert, you can insert scene or insert scenes as clips. Now I kind, I kind of like want to... Because I always insert scenes, and I feel like it's kind of like robotic in a sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert scenes as clips. So I'm going to change everything into a scene with my arrangement. Now, like, uh, just so you guys aren't bored <laughs> with not hearing everything, I'm going to just press play. But it's not going to be in a certain range, but just to give you a heads up. It's just like I'm managing the scenes as I want to arrange it. So let's go. So of course, like, scene one will be just the pads. Matter of fact, rule number one, name your stuff. I always forget to name my stuff, so let's, let's rename this. Uh, pads. Right. Right, and then, I'm gonna name this pattern main pads or something like that. Yeah, we, we being responsible adults out here we name our stuff okay and then for scene number two we put the main pads and then I want to start with the I would say the bongos yeah. for here I'm just going to name this drums right. so we bring in some drums for scene uh for scene two and what I'll do is I'll name the drums too, the patterns. So this pattern is bongos. Right? Bongos. Or congas. I think 
think they're Congress. choose what melody I want to start with we have all right so for you watching you real time like watching me choose what this melody is hopefully you can help me pick honestly this is part of the reason why I want to stream because also if y'all give me some ideas like as far as like arrangement that would be helpful you feel me like I will never forget that feel me um so i have like options for the melody for the melody to first start with right so let's um make scene six boop 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 and then let's start with this one this one was the first one i made but i don't know if it's the first one i want to start with <laughs> Let's look at the other one. All right, so if I don't do this one, I can do also do this one right here. I think I like this one more. Figure out which one do I like more? Mm. Let's look at this next one right here. Maybe. This one's good too. Ah. Man, this is the in indecisive one. this next one right here I don't think I know I don't want to start with this one because it's like like I said it's like a background kind of melody or texture what about this one like this one just because of like how the sound is it's like very abstract you feel me so <sighs> all right for the sake of time 
I'm I want to choose between this group E or group F. I'm gonna see which one. To be honest, for the sake of time, I'm probably just gonna start with this one because that's the first one I made, and I feel like, you know, what I mean, and I feel like we're gonna progress the same way I sh kind of showed y'all that track. Um, um, we're gonna pro progress that way. Oh, no, we're not gonna do it. <laughs> I hate doing this. <laughs> yeah, you see how I work, yo. I'm a whole problem. Um, yeah, we just gonna go like this. We we'll just do do. Yeah, sorry, my guy. I have to push you back. I'm gonna do it like this. What I'm gonna call? I'm gonna call the sitar because even though they call it, it sounds like a sitar. So I'm gonna call it sitar. Sitar. And I just noticed that sitar sounds like guitar. And it looks like a guitar too. Why did it take me so long? <laughs> Alright, um So we have the sitar. to add to it yeah that's like i feel like i want that to come in later especially since this guitar is acting the way it is so let's see if this is gonna help <laughs> of that main stem pattern and well we don't really need them so I might just delete these yeah because there's no point it's like yeah all right okay so let's 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 review this um arrangement well not it's not even arranged yet I'm just setting up the scenes so I can make them as clips so let's see main pads
think like I kind of want to go back down because this is kind of like a forest to me. So I want to do the the sitar pattern, maybe without the bass. I want to, I want the transition to be good. Take out the pads, keep the base. So, yeah, okay. So, let's see. Yeah, so uh, yeah, take out the pads. I 
think like yeah I want the ding 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 but scene 13 I want to make it super short so I'm gonna just like to remind myself I'm gonna call it short 13 because I want that to like I want it to lead into me bringing the pads back in so I'm gonna just call it a short 13 Ugh. okay short 13 and then after that I'll call I'm gonna call it pre 13 okay because like if I have two 13s it's gonna bother me so I'm gonna call it pre 13 okay pre 13 then scene 13 we're gonna go and uh, add this 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 our base add the pads and then so let's listen <laughs> That's when we add all the elements in. I think there's a point where I want to also take out the bass and the drums because that's something I just normally do with my arrangements is like I want all the textures outside of like the drums and the bass to just be playing at, at once or like not even at once but I just want them to, to give it a time to shine because sometimes the drums and the bass can like overpower and stuff so let's see that. to everything fully again after taking out yeah, after taking out the drums decision what I'm gonna do after that I already took out the all right what we're gonna do is we gotta take out some elements what we're we gonna take out let's let's find, figure out what we're gonna take out together the problem is like every time I take out the drums or the bass it's like I get this instinct put them back Go back in, fake them out, let them think the track is over, but it's not. Like, <laughs> for me. so I gotta find a way to really end this, but I don't want, like, uh, let me see, let me take out both of them. But I really like the bass with the elements, so let's see, I'm gonna take out art. What's being super in your face with the melodies? I like that.
I'm having a little problem with the main Vox because I feel like part of me wants to end with the main Vox because it's so prominent. Like, you know, at the end, just like the last scene. But is that what I want people to remember this song for? I mainly want people to remember the song for the textures, you know? But I feel like the main texture, the main pads, I don't. Even though it's the texture that I like the most, it's like I don't want to keep on going with it. So, And I want the bass. So I think I might just, yeah, I might just leave out the main box. Let's see. I'm gonna try, We're going to try many, many methods, but we're going to go like this. And then when we go like this, we go main bass, guitar. Yeah, I'm going to end with the mallet. I think I want to like make a ending kind of pattern. Hold on, let me duplicate this. Oh yeah, that's why I had on a soft lead. Maybe I should reintroduce this song. No. Let me see, what notes is that? Okay. Okay, so I'll put C sharp and D sharp and F. Okay. Let me see. Ugh, oh, my. I can't. I know, I'm, like, I'm, my camera is on face focus, so it's probably. My camera probably looking super crazy with me leaning forward like this. Should take that off. This is kind of cool. And then. Alright, so yeah, all together about 21 scenes, including that pre-13. Okay, so we're gonna end with the with the main mallet because 
I'm not gonna. I'm gonna rename this. Uh, ending mallet. I don't know because it's not actually the end. It's like before the end. I don't know. Mallet. A L T. Alternative. Alternative mallet. Okay. Pattern. Yes. The alternative mallet pattern. I um hmm uh, let me see I know there's one per person watching this thank you for watching this like I appreciate you for real like it's like you're actually super dope for sitting through this and dealing with <laughs> the indecisiveness of my arrangement and we haven't even started really arranging it let's just say this is like uh, patterns oh yeah save project with samples if you use ableton if you use machine save project with samples that saves lives for real delete unused files yeah i guess no nah, i'm just gonna say well, everything all right so let's let's get into this to the real arrangement inserting things as clips okay ah Stop doing this to me, yo. Fansalo. Oh, Fansalo means annoying in Chinese. I figured out. No, I'm not seeing. Ah! I wanna see. Oh. Yo. Don't do this to me. Alright. Okay. Actually, I kind of want to double up that, so let's delete this. Double up the main pad. Okay. You know what I hate about this stuff? It never follows through. I know there's probably something here that is supposed to do it, but I don't know what. There's like a, there's supposed to be a button that just lets it naturally flow, but I don't know. Like maybe it's in the settings. I don't know. I gotta check the settings. This, this stuff is way too annoying. Um, like undo follow, whatever follow. I don't know how to. Okay. Alright, reload last automatic backup. Recording. Preferred project folder. Oh, enable. I don't. A metronome. It's not a metronome thing. Link enable. Input quantize. Data tracking. Uh, it's not an audio thing. It's not a meaty thing. But you know, scene selection pattern life. Oh man, no. First of all, yeah, I need some. I need to make sure all my plugins is. I guess they're only showing the. Where's I wanted to use ripcord in here because I like using ripcord, but I guess you can't find it, whatever. Anyways, that's not what I'm trying to do. Ah, man, I think you can't change it in the settings. Maybe if you loop it. Can you loop it? Yeah, you can loop stuff, right? Can I just loop normal arrangements? Like. Can I extend the loop? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I hope when I add stuff in, it just keeps on extending the loop.
haven't seen one. We've seen one, two, three, four. I'm not a quadruple. This is a good loop. And it's a good thing to start off with. No. Stop it.
Okay, one, two, three, and then this is supposed to be the four. Okay, and then I can delete this. Okay, let's look, let's look at it from the top. for that one bar or whatever not have drums but I want to bring back drums in there so can I like copy this copy can I copy 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 no duplicate okay duplicate that's what I'm talking about so I'm gonna duplicate that and then oh yeah it takes up the <laughs> Ticks up the kick. Alright, so you gotta duplicate it many times. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's start from here. And then. Terrible, I'm terrible. I ain't even stick with the original plan. Oh man, I'm terrible. Okay, I'll see this. Okay, I'll start from right here. I don't want to do some stuff like that. Doom, 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 doom. I kind of want to take some stuff out right, right before that. So first that, worm, worm, worm. Gotta stop. Nah, that's good. Okay, let's see if how this sounds. The 
pads need to stop for a second too. I'm going to take the pads off for a second. Okay, see ya. What are you doing? No, not from there. Bugging. Can I? <sighs> Alright, I think that's why we use the loop button. Try this again. I don't think I want to do it kind of again. Like, I since I know what I'm, what we doing. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm crazy. Again, clip sixteen. Nah, I was not delete clip seventeen. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Did I skip anything? Ugh, my my brain right now. Okay, so I know I did fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, that was fifteen. Wait, fifteen. I didn't do 15. Okay. So 15. Oh, no, I did do 15. I took out the drums. My bad. I'm bugging. Okay. I did 15. That was 15 right there. Then insert clip for 16. The 16 is the same as 15. Kind of full. Yeah. I mean, I already went back to it, so I don't need to use 16. So, yeah, I could just go 17. Okay. We'll see, let's, 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 let's start from here. Okay, so check is supposed to be done. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. Alright, so let's listen to the whole thing through. I know I kind of made it a lot pretty long. Honestly, I did, my, my little IDM jams be long as hell. Long as hell, man. Long as hell. It's 
long as hell. Okay, let's see. Yo, what's up, King JD? Wow, it's been a minute. Last time we were talking, I remember the last time we were talking. We were talking about um, Persona 5. Yeah, I was playing Persona 5. I haven't played Persona 5 in a minute. Yo, I need to get back onto that. I was playing like a whole bunch of other stuff. I got kind of stuck on Spider-Man Game of the Year Edition. <laughs> I got stuck. I, I, I got stuck playing that. It got kind of addicted to playing that. And then Monster Hunter Rise. And I need to get back on Persona. Persona was awesome. How have you been, man? Like, is, is everything good on your side of the world? <laughs> I, I'm just coming off of a bad lockdown in China. So. I 
time I get experimental with tracks, I just kind of like leave it on the back burner or just put it on this like random project. I uh, realize like I've accumulated so many IDM tracks over the years and there's people out there who would enjoy it. Granted, I haven't found an IDM crowd. clip gotta take off that um that right there yeah well hopefully it doesn't oh yeah it doesn't end it all to name my stuff okay so that's yeah that's, that's that's the track right there um what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take the part that has the most sound i guess yeah like right here and i'm going to go on my master and open up isotope dynamic no no Iso ozone 9 the audio unit because i'm using an m1 macbook and uh, for some reason vsts magically disappear on m1 max especially when you have to use uh, the m1 without rosetta so all right but that's enough about me complaining about m1 max i'm blessed to even just have one so uh, so let's use the master assistant because I feel like I already mixed things pretty well. Like, my levels are straight. Do I want modern or vintage? Uh, I like the modern stuff because the modern is just super clear. But the vintage, I don't know. We'll listen to both because I got the CPU for it, right? So, all right. Like, intensity is medium. Okay, streaming. 